Right, in this video, I'm going to uh, talk about symmetry. Uh, when we are given an equation, if, if we draw the graph of that equation, sometimes we get to see some kind of symmetry. And in this video, I'm going to talk about three types of symmetry. The symmetry with respect to the y-axis, with respect to the x-axis, and with respect to the origin. So the theory says that if we replace x and y in the equation, with negative x and y, basically keep the y the same, but change the sign of x. And as a result, if we somehow get the same equation as the original equation, then the, then the graph of that equation has symmetry with respect to the y-axis. So the example on this side over here, uh, this is the type of uh, equation that has this property. So let's uh, try to verify that. So I'm going to keep y the same and replace x with negative x and see what happens. Uh, negative x squared is, well negative x squared is negative x times negative x. And multiplying two negative signs, it gives you a positive sign. So this is the same as positive x squared. So this is the result and this is exactly the same as the original equation. And I'm going to show you the graph of this equation in a moment. But let's think about this uh, uh, for a moment. Negative x comma y. Uh, why do we test negative x comma y? So here is the coordinate plane. And suppose x, y is somewhere here. Then where is negative x comma y? Well, this is, this is the x coordinate of the point. The negative x is on the other side here, negative x. And negative x comma y, because they have the same y coordinates, they should be on the same level. And this is the point at negative x comma y. So if you look at these two points, um, the y axis, it plays the role of like a, a mirror. And this point at x comma y is reflected over to the other side to get to the, the point at negative x comma y. And this is the reason why we are testing this point at negative x comma y. And that's why y, the y-axis, plays the role of the mirror and symmetry with respect to the y-axis. So now I'm going to show you the graph of this equation, the actual graph, y equals 1 over x squared plus y. Okay, now I'm going to show you the graph of y equals 1 over x squared plus 5. Uh, to do that, I'm going to use rule from alpha, and I'm going to ask it to draw the graph of y equals 1 over um, the denominator in the parentheses x squared plus 5. And here it is the, the equation, here is the equation y equals 1 over x squared plus 5. And down here we see the graph of this equation. Uh, the graph above here is only uh, the, the zoomed-in version of the tip of this graph of down below. Uh, I'm going to just copy this image over to my drawing board. And you can see that the graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. The image on the left is exactly the same as the image on the right, reflected over to the other side. And if you look at any point on the graph, there is the corresponding point on the other side of the y-axis on the graph as well. Okay, now let me put this picture away. And let's review how we checked for symmetry. So basically what we did was replace x with negative x and see whether the, the result is the same as the original equation. So by doing some little algebra, I was able to tell that the graph should be symmetric uh, without even actually drawing the graph, even before drawing the graph. Okay, now let's talk about the symmetry with respect to the x-axis. Okay, so for symmetry with respect to the x-axis, we're going to test the point at x comma negative y. So 
So suppose x, y is here, then where is x, comma, negative y? Well, x, the same, it has the same x coordinate, but the, the y coordinate is on the negative side. So this is where x, comma, negative y is. And as you can see from here, uh, the x axis is now a mirror. And this point at x, comma, y is reflected over to the other side to get to x, comma, negative y. Okay, so to test for symmetry, what we're going to do is to keep x the same, but change the sign of y. So let's do that for this example. So negative y squared equals x cubed minus x plus 1. We're not touching the numbers as well. So just change y to negative y. And negative y squared, this is y squared, positive y squared. And the result is the same as the original equation. So we can tell that the equation, this equation has the graph that is symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Now let's draw the graph of this equation and see how it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to type in the equation again. This time graph y squared equals x cubed minus x plus 1. Let's go. And here is the plot of this equation down below. And this is the graph. As you can see, uh, this graph is uh, symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Okay, so this is the line of symmetry, and every point on the graph above, there is a corresponding point down below. The symmetry with respect to the x-axis. And again, I could tell the symmetry by a simple algebra. Okay? Okay, now let's talk about symmetry with respect to the origin. Here is the coordinate plane. Suppose we have a point x, comma, y. And here we have the origin. Now if we send this point over to the other side across the origin, it goes to somewhere here. Okay. So what is the, the x, y coordinates of this point? If this is x here, then the x coordinate of the other point is on the opposite side, right? So this has to be negative x. And here is the y coordinate. And if you look at the other point, the y coordinate is on the opposite side, right? So this is negative y. So this point is at negative x, comma, negative y. And this is the symmetry across the origin. Okay, so let's check this equation for symmetry with respect to the origin. So we're going to substitute x with negative x and y with negative y. So we have negative x squared plus negative x times negative y plus negative y squared, and that equals 9. So negative x squared, if you square negative sign, it becomes positive, so this is the same as x squared. And multiply two negative signs, it, it's positive, so we have xy here. And in the same way, negative y squared is y squared. So, we have exactly the same equation as the original equation over at the top. Okay, now let's draw the graph to verify the symmetry. So, here is the graph again. So, x squared plus x times y plus y squared equals 9. And here is the graph. So if we look at any point on the graph, and send it over to the other side across the origin, 
that point is also on the graph as well. If we pick another point, say here, another point here, and send it across the, the origin to the opposite side, that point is also on the graph. And here is another way to see the symmetry with respect to the origin. If we rotate the graph 180 degrees, 180 degrees, we get to see the same curve, the same curve that is as the original graph of the equation. And that is another way to tell symmetry with respect to the origin of a graph from the picture.